How's the battery? It's plugged in, you monkey. Oh, okay. So that's all we're gonna need, right? Okay. We ready? I'm waiting for the image. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Top of the first inning. Kauai High School Kapa'a. HawaiiStream.com. Big mahalo to everybody viewing us. Doom Lao got hit to start the game off. Then this one hits the umpire or the catcher running down to second base. So first pitch is a wild pitch that'll get the runner down to second base. That's Don, John Doom Lao. So runner at second base, nobody out. Mia Sato, who was a late defensive replacement in the first game, pops this up. And uh, that'll go foul. So one ball, one strike. So one ball, one strike to Mia Sato, who will be at second base this afternoon for uh, here in game two for the Red Raiders. And as soon as I get a chance, I will run down the defensive alignment for the Warriors. Your umpires on the bases, Abe Kuhalua, like we had in game one, calling balls and strikes, Don Odekirk. Here's a pitch inside, catches the corner for a strike. One ball, two strikes. Defensively for Kapa from left to right, Bradley Villanueva, Matt Schmidt, Leighton Moniz. On the, in the infield, at first base, Jake Rausch. Kyoki Planas at second, the third baseman DJ Lakadin, the shortstop Kyola Lutz, catching Chaz Pocklin, and on the hill, Kurt Napoleon had a short stint on Saturday, uh, a week ago against the Menehune. That was in that wild 12 to 10 game two. A ball in two strikes, they got the wheel play, and there's gonna be a balk. That'll put the runner at third base. And like I said, I rarely see a balk. I saw that one. So no pitch on the play. Dumlao now at third base on the balk. So it's the ball in two strikes to Miyasato. And nobody out. One on four for the Red Raiders. You know, we had a... We had a good game in the in the opener. A ball in two strikes. Runner at third base. Miyasato line shot. First baseline fair. One run will score. So it'll be extra bases. Miyasato around second. They're gonna hold him up there. RBI double for Doug Miyasato down the right field line. That'll bring in Doom Lao from third base. So quickly, one to nothing, Kauai High School. Now it's going to be the pitcher, Michael Iosa. I think that will be the pitcher, Iosa. So now we're going to get a pitching change already. So it's going to be Chase Boswell coming in for Kurt Napoleon. Defensively. And again, this is just a defensive change. For Warriors. Now pitching. Number 17, Chase Boswell. Man, if, you, if you're going to make a change this early, why not just start Boswell? Is what I, I mean, I would say, unless you let, let Napoleon go a little further here. 
I think that kind of shows shows two things: the desperation of the Warriors to get a win against Kauai High School today, with the with three uh, three of the five seniors and three starters for Kauai High School missing, as they are on a school road trip to the mainland. So that's how desperate I think Kauai High School is to uh, get um, excuse me Kapa'a to get a win against the the Red Raiders. So Chase Boswell, who I saw in the preseason, look preseason looked very good, and then uh, I think he went a couple of innings against the Menehune on last Saturday and looked fairly w um, good as well. Let's see, Boswell did get an appearance against the Menehune. In fact, Chase Chase Boswell. 1.75 ERA. He went four innings. Gave up four hits, two runs, one earned. Walked three, struck out two. So here's Lyosa. Two RBI single in game one. Runner at second base, nobody out. Boswell out of the stretch. And that's upstairs for a ball, 1-0. and Kauai High School already pushed across a run here in the top of the first. Still nobody out. Leadoff batter was being on the game's first pitch. 1-0 pitch. Just a bit outside, 2-0. You know, Kauai High School, I got a few. They're already satisfied with the split in today's scheduled doubleheader. They'd love to get a sweep. 2-0 pitch, ground ball up the middle. This will get the runner to third base. Lutz air mails the first baseman. Another run will score. Lyosa around first. They'll hold him up there. That's going to be an e E6 to score the run. And, uh, you know, what that ha what, what happened is that... Uh, you know, Lutz made a good job getting to that ground ball, but kind of took it easy. And you want to keep your chin down when you make that throw. He brought the chin up and kind of lobbed it over there. And the ball just took off on him. And now we have got a uh, courtesy runner Number 17. out there at second base. Ronald at the plate. And do we get the number? There's a courtesy runner out there at second base for Lyosa. That drops in there for a strike. I think that uniform is just so big for that kid, it's hiding his numbers on the front. <laughs> or there is no numbers. There's the pitch. Downstairs. One and one. Still can't get a number. Boswell with the pitch. In the dirt, two and one. So two balls and a strike.
face. Here's the, it gets cut off, the slide, the throw, and it's 3 0 Koi High School. Ethan Gray scores from second base on a hit by Keala Iwasaki. Hits the first pitch up the middle. So 3 nothing Red Raiders, RBI single for Iwasaki. Diaz stops at second base. Now batting for the Red Raiders, number two, Pat Esteban. So the third baseman, Pat Esteban, steps to the plate. Two on, one out. Runners at first and second. And the ball gets away from Pockley, but not enough for the runner to um, advance. And a big mahalo to everybody tuning to us on Hawaii or watching us on HawaiiStream.com. Here's a little fister out to the second baseman, Planas. They go to second for one, return throw to first, and Esteban's going to beat it out. Now you would kind of think that the smart play would have been to go to first. High risk going out to second base. So Esteban is on the fielder's choice, and it goes uh, four to six for out number two. Diaz ends up at third base. The so runner's at the corners with two down. Now it's the catcher, Skyler Sadora. Skyler Sadora. And uh, Sadora, in the first game, as he s takes a swing and a miss, he was one for four with a single. So no balls and a strike. To Skyler Sodora Kapal already with a pitching change in the top of the first. Three nothing Red Raiders. That pitches outside for a ball, one ball, one strike. This will be the 19th pitch for Boswell. Kurt Napoleon threw what about three or four pitches, then got got yanked. Quick hook by a Kapal coaching staff. So Boswell with that uh, look at third, look at first. I don't even think he can call that a 53 play. No. He's got to have some arm motion there. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Down in the dirt. Runner takes off, delayed. And they're going to get hung up between first and second. They're going to bring the runner to the plate. And they'll get the runner before the run scores. He says no. Yeah, he said no. So the run did not score. And this is going to be fun. It's going to be 1-6. Two, three, for the out on Esteban. So that's it for the Red Raiders in the top half of the first inning, but they get three runs on two hits, a runner left on, one Kapala error, and we're headed to the bottom of the first inning. Three nothing, Kauai High School. Three runs in the top of the first. Defensively for the Red Raiders, the first base, number 17, Aaron Renault. At second base, number one, Doug Miyasato. Over at third base. Esteban. Number two, Pat Esteban. Shortstop, number seven, Kobe Diaz. Out in left. Out in left field, number 25, John Dumlau. In center field, number four, Keala Iwasaki. Over in right field, number eight, Keanu Kamaliri. Behind the plate, number 11, Skyler Sadora. And Pitchy, number 22, Micah Laosa. Up first for the, for the Warriors, number 12, center fielder, Matt Schmidt. Here we go. Defensively 
for the Red Raiders in the bottom of the first inning from left to right. John Dumlau, Keala Iwasaki, Keanu Kamaliri. On the infield at first base, Aaron Renald. Second baseman will be Doug Miyasato. The third baseman, Pat Esteban. And the shortstop, Kobe Diaz. Behind the plate during the catching is Skyler Sadora. And on the hill, Michael Laosa, who had a save who had a save on Wednesday. They got a save here in the first game. I'm not sure what happened, but Laosa is no longer on on the mound. Looks like he's gonna get a drink of something. Maybe a cramp or something. Well, limps over to the dugout, then runs back out to the mound. <laughs> So leading things off will be Matt Schmidt for Kapal. He'll be followed by Kiyoki Planas, the second baseman. Then the catcher, Chaz Pockup. Then batting cleanup, the shortstop, Keola Lutz. He'll be followed by the third baseman, DJ Lakaden. Then the right fielder, Leighton Moniz. Then the first baseman, Chad Rausch. Then it's the left fielder, Bradley Villanueva. Then the DH, Ecolo Rivera. He'll be hitting for the pitcher. It was Kurt Napoleon. Now it's Chase Boswell. The first pitch to Schmidt is a strike. 0-1. Hopefully we got that clear. Thanks to all of you tuning to us on HawaiiStream.com. Fly ball, shallow left field. In fact, he's going to be the center field, the shortstop calling for it. That's Diaz. And that's a P-6 out number one. Now, now Kiyoki Planet stepping to the plate. Number eight, Kiyoki Planet. And Kiyoki Planet in game one. One for four with an RBI. Also suffered the defeat for Kapa on the mound, pitching a complete game as he fouls that off. Planes in the first game, a complete game, gave up 10 hits, five runs, all earned. Uh, walked not, nobody, struck out two, hit a batter. So no balls and a strike to Planes. Laiosa, who leads the league and saves with two, just fouled off and out of play. No balls, two strikes. I can't remember when somebody in the KIF had two saves. It's been a while. It's been a long time since somebody has multiple saves. No balls and two strikes to Planus. One out and nobody on for the Warriors. Two and one in the season following a game one loss. Ground, a bouncer out to the first baseman, Ronald. He's got it, flips it to Laiosa. And that's quickly two outs in the inning. Three to one on the put out. You know, one thing about infielders being pitchers, a lot of times they don't make that play because they're just not used to, to it. You know, whenever the ball is hit to the right side, a pitcher has to go towards first. Number seven, Chaz Pocklet. And Laiosa did a good job there. That's a spring training type of play. Chaz Pocklet. Steps to the plate for Kapa, the catcher. Ground ball out to the shortstop. Here's Diaz. Good throw over to first, and it gets past the first baseman. A collision with Miyasato and Paklib. Now, if that happened inside foul, you know, in the field of play, that may be an obstruction um, so call. He's, back, he's backing up the play. The, the runner runs into him. So it'll be an E6 on the play. Coy High School with uh, with three errors in the first game. So Lutz at the plate. Number 16, Keola Lutz. The shortstop for the Warriors. Throw to first, runner back safely. And Keola Lutz in the first game. Was one for three with a pair of RBIs. Remember, in that first game, all the scoring was done in the third inning by both teams. Nice little curveball. Inside corner, strike one. No balls in a strike. I'll tell you what, the Wednesday game, the first game, and right now, Coach Ibia doing a lot of coaching. He's got a lot of young kids out on the field. I think one senior on the field for the Red Raiders. Fastball inside, here's a throw down to second base. Miyasato has it and cannot hang on to it. Stolen base, Chaz Pocklid. And it's gonna, that, was, that pitch is called a, a ball, one ball, one strike. Stolen base for Pocklid. That'll put a runner in scoring position with two down. 
So Michael Iosa trying to carry the Red Raiders to victory. He had two RBIs in the first game and also picked up the save. Starting pitcher here in the game one, already a uh, game two, already leading three nothing. One one pitch fouled off. One ball, two strikes. I'll tell you what, to get the pitching effort Kawhi Hesu got out of uh, Abreu and Laiosa in game one, that's a huge, huge step for them to possibly getting a sweep and the win here in game two. laiosa has got a lot of gas left in that tank. Fly ball, uh, right center, or ball drifting towards right field. That's going to be Kamaliri making a catch for out number three. So F9 for the final out for Kapa'a. No runs, no hits, a runner left on, one Red Raider error. We're headed to the top of the second inning, three to nothing, Kapa'a. Excuse me, Kauai High School. You're listening to Kiaif Baseball, or watching Kiaif Baseball on hawaiistream.com. Just for Hawaii Street. Oh, okay. It's not on radio. No. But you're on TV now? Yeah. the audio for the TV, um, the internet broadcast. They can see the game. And hear him. Oh, they can hear him, the voice. But it's not on the radio. Oh, it's not on the radio. Oh, okay. But they Coach, can't. if you had a smartphone, you could watch the thing. <laughs> you don't even have a cell phone. <laughs> I got it. I've got a dinosaur cell phones in the car. Shut off. Because <laughs> it's so old, the battery only lasts like five minutes, huh? Yes. <laughs> I've had it for like 10 years ago. I got four <laughs> wards for you. Get a new upgrade, cell phone. Upgrade. Oh. This new electronic world, I don't want to be in it. Facebook, and uh, you got a friend. He wants you, you don't have Facebook. to be. You oh. choose to be. Right? Yeah. You don't have to be on it. But it's pretty incredible. Top of the second inning, three to nothing, Kauai High School. Leading things off will be the catcher, Skylar Sadora. He'll be followed by Keanu Kamaliri. Then we move to the top of the order, John Dumlau. Three nothing, Kauai High. Chase Boswell, the second pitcher of the of the game for the, the Warriors. For the Raiders. Number 11. So Skyler Sadora. Skyler Sadora. Facing Chase Boswell to start things off. And the first pitch is downstairs for a ball, 1 and 0. You know, if you're watching, I mean, you're watching us on Hawaii Stream, obviously, but if you're coming to the field, good grind, so come on down, eat lunch over here. 1 0 pitch. Ground ball down the third baseline, foul. Nice stop by Lacadin over at third base, but it's going to go off or not. Foul ball called by home plate umpire Don Odekirk, and I think that is the right call. So one ball, one strike. I mean, obviously a foul ball. Nice uh, effort by Lacadin. One ball, one strike. The pitch by Boswell. Outside, 2-0. Oh. Three nothing Red Raiders. They scored their three in the first inning. Three runs, two hits, one error. Kapa, 0-0-1. Oh, oh, Here's a 2-1 pitch. Swung on a miss for a strike. Two balls, two strikes. Overcast, very light winds day after we had hurricane type winds yesterday afternoon. 2 2 pitch. High bouncer, that'll go foul. Count remains two balls, two strikes. In fact, I was golfing out on the South Shore and uh, I'm going to blame the wind for my 85. Brutal. 85 on one hole? On the front. On the front, no, the back. On the back. On the back. So two balls, two strikes. Lead off batter here in a second. Skyler Sadora. Pitched by Boswell. That's fouled off. Count remains two balls, two strikes. Okay. 
In the on deck circle, we have got Keanu Kamaliri. Two balls, two strikes to Sadora. Here's the pitch outside. We've got a full count to Sadora. You know, really, when you look at it, outside of Kioki Planas, Kapaz pitching has struggled. They've been inconsistent at best. And I'm sure Coach Iwohi expected a whole lot better out of some of the pitching that he's put out there. 3-2 pitch, ball four. So Sodora on at first. We'll get a courtesy runner. And that's going to be Gunnar Valentini running for Sodora. That would be in the number eight spot. Number three, Gunnar Valentini. Now batting. Now it's Keanu Kamaliri stepping to the plate for the Red Raiders. Keanu Kamaliri. So Kamaliri in game one, who was also out there in right field. Throw to first, the runner back safely. Kamaliri was two for three, folks. He had a pair of singles. Scored a run. Also struck out once. So he had a K sandwich by a couple of singles. Here's the bunt down the first base line. They'll get the runner to second base. So sacrifice is successful. One to three on the put out. I'll tell you what, Hanky B has played that, or well, the Red Raiders have played that to perfection this afternoon, game okay. one and here in game That's two. Number 25, John Dumlau. So runner in scoring position, top of the order, John Dumlau, the left fielder. Dumlau hit by a pitch and scored in the first. Boswell floats one over the outside corner in there for a called strike. No balls and a strike to Dumlau. It's already 3 0 Red Raiders. The pitch by Boswell. Nice curveball. Drops in there for strike two. Let me tell you, we got a nice crowd out here for KIF baseball today. Out of the stretch, Boswell checks second, comes to the plate, throws it in the dirt, and Chaz Pockley in the first game. I'm not going to say he had it easy, but he did have a pretty. Uh, non beating off his chest kind of game but this game he has gone through hell here in the first what inning and a third so one ball two strikes to Dumlau pitched by Boswell in the dirt again goes off of Pockley runner takes off here's a throw to third and sliding in safely is Gunnar Valentini so two balls two strikes is going to be a wild pitch runner ends up at third one out in the inning and again, since that wild pitch is huge because now Hank can change his strategy on how to get the runner home. I know it's two balls, two strikes, but you may see a squeeze here. Infield drawn in for Kapa. Two balls, two strikes. Ground, bouncer right to Lutz, looks the runner back to third, gets the out at first base. In the first game, Kapa did this, and they got it right there. And here again, nice play by the shortstop Lutz on making the out. Six to three, runner stays put. Two outs, now batting. Number one. Now it's the second baseman, Doug, Doug Miyasato. Miyasato. Miyasato, RBI double, and scored in the first inning. Gets an RBI single here in game two. He is two for two with a pair of ribs. He's, he's got a pair of hits, and he's only looked at two pitches. Well, he saw only two pitches. So it's now four to nothing, Kauai High School, top of the second inning. And that'll bring up uh, Micah Laiosa to the plate. Number 22, Micah Laiosa. Laiosa's position reached on an E6 and came around to score. So 0 for 1 today. Throw to first, Miyasato back safely. I think you get a run, maybe two, 
I think you see another pitching change. Ground ball left side. That'll find left field. Two consecutive singles puts runners at first and second with two down. And I, I guarantee you somebody out there in a Red Raider dugout is yelling BP. So Mia, uh, excuse me, Curtis Ethan Gray, Gray will Gray. come out to run at first base for Laiosa. So being a number three spot, Laiosa, it'll be a courtesy running. The Red Raiders, number 17, Aaron Renaud. So the first baseman Renaud steps to the plate, two down and a runner in scoring position. Ronald uh, Cade in the first inning, 0 for 1. Here's a rope out there in right center. One run scores, and they're going to bring the runner down to third base. 5 0, Kauai High School top of the second inning. And a lot of these base hits are coming off the first pitch. In fact, the three straight hits have come on the first pitch to Miyasato, Laiosa, and now Ronald. I'll tell you what. I think the Kapoor Wars got to feel fortunate that ball didn't find the fence in right center. Kobe Diaz. So Gray ends up at third. Miyasato scores. The shortstop Kobe, D Kobe Diaz steps to the plate, walked in the first. He's got no official at bats. First pitch downstairs for a ball. Kobe Diaz in game one, 0 for 3 with a run scored. Did a good job at shortstop. Out of the stretch, Boswell. Looper into uh, the infield. It's going to be Planas who makes the catch for out number three. So P-4 to end the inning. For Kauai High School, they get two runs on three hits. Two runners Red left Raiders on. No runs. Kapai Red errors. Raiders. We're headed to the bottom of the second inning. 5 nothing Red Raiders. Five you're nothing you're Red watching Raiders. HawaiiStream.com. Valentino for Osador. Henry! So you can close the door on the point. Zero plus innings, two runs, one hit. Here we go, bottom of the second inning, 5 nothing Red Raiders. The third baseman, DJ Lakaden, will start things off for the Warriors, looking for some offense somehow, somewhere. First pitch up and in for a ball, 1-0. and all. Lakaden, Moniz, Rausch, 5, 6, and 7 for the Warriors. One ball, no strikes to Lakaden. That catches the outside corner for a strike. One ball, one strike. HawaiiStream.com, KIF Baseball, live and only. 1-1 one, one pitch. Ground ball to the shortstop. Diaz picks it up nicely over the first base. Out number one. Six to three. 
Down the right fielder, Leighton Moniz. Not batting. Not batting. Right fielder, number 11, Leighton Moniz. So Leighton Moniz uh, with one out and nobody on for the Warriors. 5 nothing Kauai High School here at the Ron Martin Field. Upstairs with the, with the ball, 1-0. Oh. You know, way back when, when some of us were still in high school, I know you guys can see it on HawaiiStream.com, but believe it or not, this was an all-grass field. The only place they had dirt were the mound and around the plate. Here's a slow roller to the first baseman. Renault picks it up, steps on first, out number two. So three unassisted. Now the first baseman, Jake Rausch. Now batting number 10, first baseman, Jake Rausch. So Rausch for the Warriors here. Two outs and nobody on. Takes the first pitch for a ball, one and all. Rausch in the first game, one for three with a run scored. He had a single. In fact, it was a bun single in the third inning of that game. The next pitch is a ball. So two balls, no strikes to Jake Rausch. Here's the 2-0 pitch. Outside, make it 3-0, low and outside. Hey, if you're watching us on Hawaii Stream and uh, you know you got friends and family on neighbor islands or back on the mainland, or maybe even, even in the Middle East, you know, serving our country, let them know that they can catch us live and wave if you can see us. Here's ball four to <laughs> Jake Roush. So a two-out walk to Roush brings up the left fielder, Bradley Villanueva. Villa, Villanueva. Left fielder, number 0 for two with a run Villanueva. with a run scored in the first game. So Laosa out of the stretch. The right, they'll bring the right fielder in about eight or nine steps. Fastball inside one and oh. So 1-0, Laosa facing Villanueva. That ball is in the dirt, blocked nicely by Sadora. 2-0. You know, that ball hit right on the plate, and a lot of times when that ball hits the plate, you have no idea if it's going to bounce true or, or bounce high over the catcher. That bounce true right into the chest of Sadora. That's called strike, 2-1. So two balls and a strike to Villanueva. Defense at normal depth for uh, Villanueva. Toward the first, they got the runner picked off. He's toast. So it's going to be a one to three pickoff on Roush. That'll end the inning here in the bottom half of the second inning. For Kapa, no runs, no hits, nobody left on, and no Kauai High School errors. We're moving to the top of the third, 5 nothing Red Raiders. You're listening to or watching KI Baseball on HawaiiStream.com. That's brutal. Unbelievable. Down three, down five runs, you get up and
How about him for the Red Raiders, center fielder? Leading four. things off yeah. for the Red Raiders here in the top of the third. When the Red Raiders lead at 5 to nothing. it'll be Keala Iwasaki, followed by Pat Esteban, then the catcher, Skyler Sadora. The ball is tomahawk foul. That ball about chin high. No balls on a strike. Owen one to Keala Iwasaki. The pitch by Boswell outside for a ball, one ball, one strike. One ball, one strike. Here's the pitch lifted into right field. Shallow. This could be trouble, and it is. That ball fall between the right fielder and second baseman for a leadoff Texas lead single by Keala Iwasaki. I'll tell you, that's as classic a Texas leaguer as you'll see. Right fielder coming in hard, second baseman going out hard, and it falls between both of them. Now it's Pat Esteban, the catcher, coming up for Kauai High School. Or excuse me, Pat Esteban, the third baseman. Throw to first, Iwasaki back safely. Also, I want to say a big mahalo to our HawaiiStream.com crew. Our production crew, just outstanding job today, all two of them. <laughs> Or maybe two and a half. How's that? I pitched in a little. The pitch by Boswell. Good bunt by Esteban. It'll get the runner to, to second base. The sack bunt is successful. So one three on a put out. Runner at second base. First out of the inning. I will guarantee you, I don't think there's another team in this state, Nobody's Division really One really or started. Division oh. Two, that will record as many sack bunts as the Red Raiders do in a season. In fact, in half a season, I'll bet you they get more sack bunts than anybody in the state. First pitch to Sadora is upstairs for a ball, one and all. I mean, if I had a way to, um, to check that, oh, that'd be very interesting. There's no, I'd put my extra box of Girl Scout Thin Mints up against anybody that Kawhi School has more sack bunts than anybody in the state, easily. You know what? I'll even make it more. I'll throw in my brand new Padres hat. I feel pretty good about that bet any day. Two balls, no strikes. In the dirt, one handed by Pocklip. Good job there. Ball three, three and oh. One out, runner in scoring position. Kawhi High School already leading five nothing. Three in the first, two in the second. We're in the top of the third. Pitch by Boswell. Hit into center field. That's going to be a base hit. Runner had to hold up, so he'll stop at third. Wow, how you like that? Hanky B allows a, run, a batter to swing 3-0. That's a rare sight, folks. You're not going to see too much of that. Courtesy runner for the catcher, Sador, is going to be Gunnar Valentini. Believe me, folks, you don't see Hanky B allow his hitters go 3-0. Unless you're Lyoso or Cal Koga, but this time it's Sodora gets a green light and pokes it into center field for a base hit. He's calling up. He's calling up. Oh, so. He's calling up. So now I can stand corrected. And Hanky V is actually scolding his his catcher for swinging three and zero. So three and zero, oh, he swings, gets a base hit, and gets ripped as he may. That's why you got to remember: never walk, go past the coach when you're heading towards the dugout. If you got to, six for seventeen. So Kalena Harder will come in for Kapa, and what's going to happen is he's going to go out to right field, and he is going to. Um, uh, bring in Leite Moniz to play second base. Planus will move over to short. And Keola Lutz will move to the mound. So let's take a short time out. It's KIF Baseball live on HawaiiStream.com. Now pitching number 16, Keola Lutz.
also in the game for the Warriors out in right field. Number six, Kalena Harder. Defensive only. Uh, let's see, Moniz goes to four. And then Planas goes to six. Uh, Moniz went to second. And then Keoki, uh, I mean, yeah, Ke Keoki Planis from second to short. Wait, say that again. Um, Planis went from second to short. Planis goes from second to short. Shortstop went to pitch, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. 16 and went to pitch. One in the third. Yeah. One in the third. Honest goes to six in the third. And Monique goes to four in the third. Right? Mm -hmm. 